And this is Ken Kreitzer at the United States Military Academy, and I have a chance to talk with one of the cadet leaderships, a senior, Rebecca Marigliano, uh, who's uh, helping organize this event today. And Rebecca, uh, maybe just uh, uh, tell us about it. Now, I understand that you're going to be joining the cyber branch of the Army. Uh, yes, sir. I branched cyber in back in November, and I'm scheduled to go to Bullock here in August. And it's a really exciting time. I'm the first female to branch cyber from West Point, so there's a great there's a great unknown with the whole cyber branch and its development. And you now I'm really looking forward to being in that you know first footsteps in the whole process of it. Absolutely. Maybe just tell us a little bit about this uh, competition today. You've got uh, uh, your your uh, uh, your adversary is the NSA. Uh, and you're, uh, you've got some counterparts at the other uh, major service academies participating. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's quite a whirlwind right now. Like We've been at neck and neck with the Air Force uh, predominantly throughout this time and then um, with the other service academies too. But, you know, we're prevailing so far throughout, you know, taking first place hopefully against the other service academies. You know, it is a unique opportunity to go against the big NSA um, you know, really combating and, you know, defending our network. So it's, you know, it's a really good opportunity to flex the skills of each and every cadet and, like, learn a lot of new things that we didn't previously know before um, within this exercise. Right. What are some of the skills uh, that you're uh, utilizing? I see people that are kind of looking at code and then others looking at kind of the big entry points. I mean, a lot of things that we in the business world have to be very concerned about. What are some of the things that, uh, you know, come up in the exercise? Um, some of the things that come up, you know, we're broken down into different teams. There's the forensics team, the networks team, the systems team, um, and each have its own very important part. Uh, you know, with, with the forensics, you know, we're really looking at, you know, different the forensic challenges that are given to us, and then seeing, you know, if there's any malware on it, like what do they do? Um, with them, you know, in the networking team, you know, just really trying to, like, keep our network safe and, you know, defending it from the NSA. So, like, everybody plays a very, you know, vital part within the larger you know, organization. Absolutely. And tell us a little bit about your future as you graduate and commission next month uh, and uh, start your Army career. Um, so, once I graduate here May 23rd, I'll have a beautiful 60 days of leave. Um, I was actually just recently uh, accepted into Carnegie and Mellon for the graduate program there. So we'll see if I get to go there come August. If not, I'll go to Bullock for the first cyber uh, Bullock class for the next 10 months, and you know, we'll see what happens throughout the next five years of my career. That's a, that's a wonderful compliment to get accepted at Carnegie and Mellon. Uh, what is, uh, what, just tell us a little bit about uh, your academic background here at West Point. What major are you? So I'm a computer science major, and so far every summer I've been working um, with the EECS department with uh, different academic internships. Um, I've been to Alaska, Fort Meade, I've been to Utah. So I've had a lot of great experiences so far with the EECS department. I guess one of our questions we've been asking, uh, obviously in cyber defense there's a big picture defending the big networks. Is there also a local need to help support uh, an Army unit that's in a country or even a, a deployed uh, Army unit? Oh, definitely. I mean, just because, you know, we are always focusing on the big picture, we can't lose sight of, you know, the little people, um, especially, you know, when being deployed, that I would say that is would be our top priority is to keep that internal network safe from any adversaries within the local area. Absolutely. And you got to tell us what part of the country are you from? Well, I'm an Army brat, sir, so all over the place. My family actually just moved to Chicago over the summer, so I, I guess from Chicago now. A lot of uh, military service in your family, maybe you can mention? Uh, yes, sir. My, both of my parents were in the Army. My dad was a graduate of West Point of class of 1984. Yes. And then my mom went through OCS, yes. which is the Officer Basics Training Course. Um, they both served over, combined served over 40 years, both retired as majors. That's great. Well, I had, my dad was an Army officer, and my, my sisters really uh, lived in Army bases. I, I didn't quite have that experience, but... Uh, but uh, they all described it as, you know, living in Germany and living at Fort Hood, Texas and, 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 and other bases. It was quite an experience for them. But uh, well, really, our best wishes from all of us at the American Legion on uh, your graduation, commissioning, and uh, service in the United States Army. Oh, thank you very much. You know, I really look forward to the opportunity that the Army has for me in the future. Absolutely. Rebecca Marigliano, uh, our best wishes to all of us at the American Legion. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the United States Military Academy.